Hey guys, this is Positive Girl 11, otherwise known as Takesha or Nikki, and I'm coming at you with my month five um, and also week 21 update. Um, I had surgery on December 19th, 2012 by Dr. George Lynch at Baptist Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, my weight then was 238 pounds. Prior to, my highest weight was 256 pounds. And uh, last week, um, I posted on Facebook. Uh, posted on Facebook that uh, on my weight of 172, and um, this week I come in like at 170, and yeah, <laughs> trying to ease out of the 170s. I haven't been here as long as I was. Um, when I was in the 180s, but nonetheless, uh, still, you know, trying to move out of here. Um, so what's been going on these last, I went like two and a half weeks since I posted something. Um, things are going well, I guess. I, um, it's summertime for us, uh, and so it's a little bit slower, slower pace uh, here um, at work, so that's good, um, but still kind of busy because I have a new boss. So, um, so yeah, things are kind of slower, but kind of the same. Um, what else? What else? Food. Um, I mentioned in my last video um, that I, you know, was into Skinny Pop, and I was also, um, you know, eating and not eating, and my fitness pal really tells on me. Uh, when I don't, when I do post to my fitness pal, you really see the fluctuation in me eating versus not eating, um, and the kinds of things that I'm eating. Um, back into the mode where I'm, you know, making my own food, cooking my own food, and um, and it's working out better. When you buy food, you have to wonder one, especially if it's not on my fitness pal, you know. What is the calorie content? What is, you know, my fat grams and all this other, that and the other. Um, I know it's a turkey burger, but is it, you know, what is it really giving me? So um, I don't like doing that. I really would prefer, even though it's time consuming, I really would prefer to just make my own meals and be done with it. But, you know, for convenience and everything else, you know, we want to go out and and buy and eat and and it can be kind of detrimental um, when we do that to our bodies and, and also to the, to the scale and what the scale is saying. Um, so yeah, uh, Skinny Pop is here and when I, like I said, when I want a, a, when I have a craving for carbs, it's Skinny Pop, popcorn um, or the like. If, um, if I don't have a craving for carbs, then half the time, you know, I'm I'm eating, and, and it's not so much as if I don't have a craving for carbs, but if I if I don't have a a real you know need to eat, I won't, and that's a problem. So um, this past week, though, I have been doing better as far as when it's coming to my my vitamins, uh, my supplements, um, things I'm supposed to be uh, you know eating. Um, I've made my wontons, so I'm. I'm in a happy place this week. Uh, last night, I, um, I've i had P90X the, the entire set for, gosh, years, years. Um, but last night was the first time that I went back to it. And when I did, um, my oldest was like, listen, if, you're, if you do it, then I'll do it. And then my daughter got into it, and my, uh, my other son, Tobias, got into it. And so it was really cool. We did the Cardio X. It was really cool to see them uh, supporting me and also getting a workout uh, on their own. So that was awesome. That was awesome. Um, and working out, um, working out in the gym is, is just where I have my place of zen. You know, I, I can just woosah. <laughs> <laughs> when I get in the gym. So that, for me, is about three to five times a week um, is what I, how I work out, whether that be at home or, or in the gym. But I like to be in the gym because I have, you know, the weights there and I have other people um, motivating me there. And so um, the gym is, is great. 
Um, what I'm going to do different this time that I haven't ever done before, I don't think, is a body shot. So um, let me. So this is me. Got the little flappy wounds right there. The side. Back. Side. And again to the front. So um, this is a size medium dress. Can you see that, people? <laughs> Can you see that? It's a size medium dress. Four dollars I paid for it because um, I like to thrift shop. So, um, paid four dollars for it. The tag said six ninety eight, but the guy I think was I don't know what he was. He was on some other stuff, and so it was like four dollars. So pretty excited about that. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think that is about it um <laughs> i'm just i'm just in a in a better place and um you know i'm just riding this riding this wave and seeing what happens and uh hoping for the best <laughs> so um for all those pre oppers listen um i, I want to give a shout out to Melly mel to ivy um and there's another lady that i'm forgetting um, gosh, I can't think of her name, but anyway, um, I went to her surgery date yesterday. <laughs> I clicked on going, so I went, um, but another young lady that had surgery, um, and so Melly Mel checked in last night. She's doing well, um, and I'm hoping that the other two are doing well as well. I think there's more people out there that have had surgery, but those are, uh, the three that I know of. Um, and the one that I can't remember the name. Um, but pre uh everything that you go through is going to be on an individual level. Nothing that I um, listened to, looked at, whatever, prior to surgery, really prepared me for the life change that I'm experiencing now. So... That's not to discourage you. I want you to continue to watch our videos, to continue to be a part of the community. Um, several people have said it, but when you are making videos and when you actually put yourself, thrust yourself into this community, you really do not understand or know um, prior to doing the videos how much support that you really do have. And... Um, it, it has been an awesome experience. These five months have been life-changing. Um, I have never experienced the amount of support, the amount of uh, camarader camaraderie. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Um, the amount of love and the amount of uh, friendship, you know, true friendship that I have experienced during this time. Uh, post op and um, and even pre op you know prior to you know getting into it um, I did a couple videos before my surgery so you have to make yourself um, available for this type of support you really do um, so if you have not done a video please 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 consider doing a video if you are post op and you made videos prior and you're not making videos now please make videos because you are helping someone, whether that whether they be post-op or pre-op, you are helping someone. Um, again, every experience is going to be individual, but to hear that, you know, maybe there's something going on in their life, you know, five months out that you might be able to prepare yourself for, um, even though it'll be on an individual level, you still might be able to say, okay, well, even though this didn't work out exactly the way that, you know, such and such as did, I still know that that was something that I was probably going to be looking forward to seeing. So I hope that kind of made sense. But um, I just want to say, please continue to make videos. Those of you that um, have not made videos in a long time, please do it. I know I'm, I'm slacking on my videos because, I mean, I used to be every week and now I'm touch and go. So um, I love you guys. 
I'm so happy to see the vi the pictures of those that went uh, to Vegas. It looks like everybody had a great time. Um, I will hopefully come back uh, with a week 22 update. And um, I, sh I will come back with a week 22. I'm here pleading with others to do videos, and I'm saying I might come back. I will come back with a week 22 update and uh, maybe something in between. So uh, you guys, you guys keep it, keep it classy. Praying for those that are in Oklahoma and the devastation there. Um, and just, just like I said, pray. Pray for, for those, and hopefully those will pray for you. So I'm out of here. It's over 10 minutes, and uh, you guys take it easy. Love you all. Bye.